Now, if I can describe this entire episode, it was just constant pointing fingers at Hyun Su because they believe he's the culprit because of the evidence in front of him. And I don't think, I could be wrong a bit, I don't think they've even given him a chance to prove that he's innocent. He kept saying, I didn't do it, even though he can't say he wasn't a part of it. But, I mean, you have to look at it from the police's point of view. Don't look at it from your point of view as the viewer. You can say he is innocent or you can say he's not. But if you're looking at it from the police's point of view, with all of the evidence right in front of them, you really can't blame him for jumping to the point just like that. So first we're at the police station. We get a little bit more info about certain characters and we see other characters being questioned. Uh, Sung Hoon and two other cops were being questioned. They pretty much said what they saw, so there's nothing really new about that. And then we have Jung Han telling Hyun Soo about Sang Bom, the leader of the uh, police officers. Um, the way I got it was that he is not a type of police officer who would jump to conclusion. He's more like a very smart prey. He waits for you to slip up and then he'll attack. And he's been attacking Hyun Su this entire episode. And then we do get to meet the girl's stepfather. Um, not, not much about the dad other than he is a stepdad. He's not her biological father. And their relationship, awkward. And at the same time, we see jung -an constantly visiting Hyun Su while he's being contained. He's telling him how everything works and it's not like in the movies. Yeah, he can say, I didn't do it. But you gotta look at it from the judge's point of view or the police officer's point of view. If the evidence are right in front of them, you can't blame them for jumping to a conclusion and just flat out saying, hey, you're the murderer. We know it. So stop lying that you're not the murderer. But Hyun Soo keeps saying that he didn't do it. Then we get to Hyun Soo's first trial. Before I talk about that though, I am not going to ignore the fact that they gave him a Gucci sweatshirt for him to wear to his first trial. That was their way of making him seem less innocent. I mean, didn't the cops raided his house, try to find things to use as evidence, and they couldn't give him a shirt? The cops didn't have any extra shirts lying around in the office. They gave him a Gucci sweatshirt. I mean, the fact that they already know because of the evidence, they already know he's guilty. And to make him look worse, you give him a Gucci sweatshirt with a damn tiger or a damn uh, 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 cheetah, whatever on it, in front of the judge. I'm like, damn, you didn't really have to do him like that. And the only person who is helping him in the trial is jung -an, and only him. And then towards the end, when hyun Su asked sang -bom how did it go, sang -bom didn't even have to say anything. Hyun Soo's reaction says it all. Just seeing him shocked and crying, you already know what's going to happen next. And we see it, he goes to jail. Now I think that this is where the story takes off. I think in the description of this drama, it says something like Hyun Soo learns how to survive day by day while in prison. And I have a feeling that he might turn into a different person. Probably a complete opposite from how he was in episode one. If you remember in episode one, he was very easily influenced. When his friend called him to go to a party, yeah, he was trying to go. Got sidetracked by a girl, he went with her. The girl pretty much told him, hey, here's some drugs, Here, here's some shots. He took it. So he was very easily influenced. And I have a feeling his first time in jail, he's going to be easily influenced and probably do some things that he would not want to do. I don't even want to think about it. But as time goes on, I think he'll be... He'll have a stronger personality and instead of being easily influenced, he'll probably be the one leading. Man, the cops really did him dirty like that, just giving him a Gucci sweatshirt to wear at his first trial. I mean, if they believe that he was the culprit in the first place because of the evidence, you really didn't have to kick him while he was down. I mean, giving that Gucci sweatshirt was just... I got upset. <laughs> I really did. And yeah, that's pretty much the gist of the episode in my review. If there's anything I might have missed, please leave it in the comments below. Other than that, if you like this video, leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. See ya.